Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Ernst here, and so today I'm going over Tuesday's instructions. So please remember that I try to keep the assignments down to two assignments that you turn in per week for each subject, okay? So as we're going through this, I'm going to kind of point out what needs to be turned in and what doesn't. So Tuesday, you just have a read around that your child's going to listen to um, by Wanda Sky Sykes. Um, it's a cute little book. It's a little bit of a longer book, but it's absolutely adorable, and I'm pretty sure that the kids are going to love it, especially the children who want to be challenged on their reading. This is a higher reading level book, so that's going to be great for them to see kind of what they're building up to getting to. Okay, after that we have syllable review and um, an ad syllable. These are both games, uh, but one of them's a game, one of them's a video. These are not turn-in assignments. They're just to give the kids extra practice. Foundational kind of needs a little practice every single day. And so that's why foundational is really the only one you're gonna see constant stuff in, but not turn-in stuff. Okay, so there's no turn in on Tuesday for reading or foundational. Art, we are doing our very last superhero week. You also have the choice board. Please remember art is not, you do not have to do it. I just put it in there as a brain break for the kids. Um, if you like to do it, if your child wants to do it, if you need that brain break and they need a creative outlet, there is a creative outlet for you. Uh, after that, we have Community Circle. Um, this is, like I said in my Monday video, this is not mandatory. You do not have to do this. This is another good brain break for you guys, but it also builds a relationship. It lets you kind of get to know your child and how they're feeling and emotionally. Um, get in touch with those emotions, okay? So um, I have a little uh, Mojo video. And afterwards, you kind of just play a game called Play the Emotion. Play the Emotion is you show an emotion on your face and they have to tell you how you're feeling. This teaches the children how to identify motion, emotions. This is actually really important in kindergarten because sometimes they don't really understand when they're looking at someone's faces, that can kind of tell them how someone's feeling, okay? So this might be a really good one to take some extra time on and building with your kids. Now, most of the kids do know this, but it's a good uh, way to point out, hey, sometimes you're going to be able to tell by my face how I am a feeling, how my emotions are going. Okay. Um, please remember the only thing that is not that must be done is I station reading 30 minutes, I station math 30 minutes. Okay. Um, those are have to be done every single day. Okay. Um, afterwards, you have social studies. This is an assignment that you have to turn in. You have the Studies Weekly PDF. It's the little magazine that I sent home like once a week. Um, and it go, it's going over weather. And so your assignment that you have to do is draw two, a picture and write two sentences about how a tree looks in spring, summer, winter, and fall. So you're going to draw four trees in the different seasons and write two sentences about each tree. Okay, that's the only turn in assignment actually for this day. So Tuesday, you only have one turn in assignment, okay? Um, that Does that mean that we do not do reading and we do not do foundation? No, you should still try to do it if you are able, just because that way the children are hearing more and more reading and listening to reading is one way to improve reading skills, okay? Um, all, as always, your QR codes are down here. My contact information is right here. If you guys need anything, please feel free to contact me. Um, like I said on Monday, if you are liking how this flowing's going, please let me know. If you don't like how this is going, please let me know. Now that means Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about the distance learning, but if I can somehow make this easier on you guys, um, maybe instead of a daily view, doing a weekly view of what you're expected to do the whole week, please let me know. Um, just please know it's going to be a little harder for me to do that, considering that we only have four weeks left of school, but I just want to take this time and kind of gauge how you guys are doing. I'm going to try to put out a survey on Friday 
to you guys that you can kind of tell me how you're feeling. How do you feel about the setup? How do you feel about Google Classroom, Seesaw, Edge Puzzle, Prodigy, Class Tag, Class Dojo? Um, and I will let you guys know further down and hopefully this works for you guys. And just let me know if you need anything, okay? Bye!